Well, Sam, looks like we found out what's been causing all the big trouble in the North Atlantic. Yeah, nothing says drama on the high seas like a cheap... Jammies. But sadly, that cheap two-bit octopunk nabbed my pocket watch. Where exactly did you keep a pocket watch, Max? I know this can never replace the one you lost, but here. <gasps> it shines like the head of Mr. Papadopoulos. Where did you get it? It was an impulse purchase from that friendly street hawker. Turn it into a personal massager. A and B plus C shows your IQ. What happens if I press them all? Something altogether zany, I bet. Incredible. The pedestrian special effects, the hackneyed imagery. We're tumbling backwards through the ages. Ooh, time travel. That's way better than a toenail compartment. According to my new watch, it's... Oops. Holy mother of pearl and a sidecar going 80. We've rambled all the way back to the dawn of time. People act of swatting a fly could change the Earth's entire timeline. Ah! Now we'll see if all those science fiction stories are true. Huh? Well, the strange part is, they keep the city much cleaner. I could do this all day. Ah, ain't it great? The simple days of youth. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. There's a stop I want to make. You should have thought of that before we left, Sam. Not that kind of stop, Doughhead. Marketable baby versions of ourselves. Look at me, Sammy. I'm Daniel Boob. Uh, stirs up a few long suppressed memories. And explains all those sticky nightmares I have about possessed Berman headwear. He delighted in rubbing your fur the wrong way. And stealing your lunch and giving you pink bellies. I can't watch. Pink bellies. I hated those. To this day, I hate those. Curse you, man! No, Sam, we dare not interfere. You're right, Max. Sorry. Ah! Hey, now he's dressing you like a girl. Max? Max? Words of wisdom, Grimes! Shame on you, Big Max. I only passed on my unsettling ability to unhinge my lower jaw. What could possibly... Gee, I don't remember checking into the Y. Do you, Sam? Sam? Where are you, Sam? Say something! Give me a sign! Gibbons getting gritty. There's no better place to go to in this great big stinking city. If there's an eye burning aroma wafting off your buffalo, Sam's Discount Pet Wash is the place you ought to go. No! Make it stop! Villain Hargraves! Now this may sting a bit. Special? Sam, it's me! Max! Don't you know me? We're partners! We grew up together! Think back, man! I do vaguely recall a fuzzy bunny pal with whom I wiled away the hazy halcyon days of my youth. Yeah? Yeah? Then one day, something happened. I ate a bad head cheese sandwich and wandered off in a hallucinogenic daze. I always felt there was something missing. Besides shorts. It was me! Me! I was missing! I think you should leave now. You're scaring Patches. <laughs> I got it! I got it! <sighs> I guess I do got it. Well, then what did he say? No! Was it the commissioner, Sam? Who's the commissioner? It was my booking agent. A rogue octopus? It's deja vu all over again. Let's roll! Uh, right back where we started. Must be how all these time travel shows go. Ring any bells? Feel free to jump in anytime, Sam! Sorry, I was taught to revere all life. We are one with even the lowest of creatures. Talk of it slapping you silly while going for your wallet? What's it gonna take to push this guy's buttons? A pink belly! He's giving you a pink belly, Sam! Pink bellies. I hated those. To this day, I hate those. Curse you, Melon Hargrave! <laughs> How do you feel? Kind of dizzy. But at last I found my true calling. The rash and reckless life of a freelance cop. 
I framed the ticks off my last cat. Looks for all the world like things are back to normal, little pal. Sending that giant octopus back in time has restored the natural order of things. Or a reasonable facsimile. Did I mention that you cracked me up, Max? All the time, Sam.